below. Next, on a very special episode of the Silicon Floors podcast, this one, you know, the beginning's really dedicated to this guy who, with all apologies to James Brown, is the hardest working man in Portland startups, Oregon startups, potentially Pacific Northwest startups. Juan Barraza. Juan has done more than his fair share to help this community. He's been a founder with Video Interpreters, was the company he founded almost a decade ago, probably a decade ago. So he's he's had experience as a founder. He worked at Portland State at the Center for Entrepreneurship to help student founders. He helped really codify and build up the Invent Oregon program, which was a statewide program for college students to compete with their startup ideas. He has worked at Virtulab, helping companies in the climate tech space and climate in general space. Just all in all, has been a, a huge proponent for founders in our community and a huge help to those founders in our community. But all that while, while doing those day jobs, while working hard for founders on the side, Juan had another passion project. You know, he was inspired by Startup Weekend. So he started a series of Startup Weekends called Startup Weekend Latino to focus on Latin, Hispanic founded startups. He was inspired by what Stephen Green had created with Pitch Black. So he took that concept and focused it on the Latino community for Pitch Latino, which gives Latino, Latina founded companies the chance to take the stage and pitch for prize money each year. And the other thing he helped start is Latino Founders, which is a nonprofit focused on helping with events like that, but also hosting an accelerator program for Latin startups, helping them grow with the mentorship they need. I think applications for that are still open until June 30th, but all of that to be said, one is an absolute treasure for our community. I'm thankful I get the chance to work with him on a regular basis. And now Latino Founders has won as their executive director. He hasn't taken on the role yet. It's not till July 1st, so you can congratulate him early. But I was really happy to hear that as Latino Founders continued to formalize, has become a well-funded organization with hopefully more funding on the way for that nonprofit, Juan will be taking the lead as the executive director. And I can't wait to see what he's able to do now that Latino Founders is no longer a side project. It's his full-time day job. So looking forward to continuing to work with Juan, looking forward to him accelerating the progress of Latino Founders and every other startup he gets the opportunity to work with. So please, if you get the chance, congratulate Juan on his new role and join me in supporting him in his new efforts as the executive director. Look, I'm not too proud to beg. Please subscribe. Thank you. Now, I'm not the only one who recognizes Juan's genius. TAO, the Technology Association of Oregon, has also selected Juan for a TAO award this year, which is well-deserved. Again, because of this work he's done, because of the work he's done to support the tech community, they are recognizing those efforts, but he is not alone. TAO is also giving a Lifetime Achievement Award to Diane Freeman of Voyager Capital. I always refer to Diane as like the quintessential venture capitalist here in Portland. Much like Juan, Diane is an extremely active member of the Portland startup community. She's always taken the time to meet with founders, to talk to them about their companies, to provide advice. She's been a personal mentor for me and has helped guide my activity and growth in the Portland startup community. 
a really valued member and always a thoughtful and forthright advisor. Suffice it to say, Diane pulls no punches. I'm not saying she's made me cry, but she may have potentially made me cry. I don't know. And we're very lucky to have her in the community, to have Voyager investing in startups in our community, but also thanks to Voyager for letting our community have the access to Diane to uh, help our companies, help our founders, and really just move the tech startup community here in Portland forward. So congratulations to Juan, congratulations to Diane, both really, really good selections for awards this year, and I'm always happy to see amazing people in our community being recognized for the work that they do. So congrats to them both. Now, there are some folks who've been doing work in our community for years and years, and then there are some folks who are maybe not new to the community, but have taken on some new activities to really help improve the community, help bring us together. And no one better exemplifies that than AI Portland. Uh, love the organization. Silicon Florist is a sponsor of AI Portland. And they're really doing a great job of bringing the community together around artificial intelligence. They do not only events that feature speakers, and that kind of thing, but they also just do community gatherings like happy hours and that kind of stuff. So I'm a huge fan of AI Portland, easily the best thing going right now in the Portland startup community in terms of events. For those of you who've been around for a while, I always equate what's happening with AI Portland to what happened with Mobile Portland in kind of the previous generation of startups around here. It's just a great community organization doing great work. They also have a podcast where they share insights on the events they've held. Just all in all, huge fan of AI Portland. So if you get the chance to attend, their next gathering is June 27th. I think it's everybody's a creative director. So how do you use AI to build creative assets? Should be a really interesting gathering. And uh, yeah, whether you get the chance to attend that one or not, Highly encourage you to get involved with AI Portland. It's the best way to connect with people in the Portland startup community right now. Speaking of folks that help the startup community, but also help other small businesses in the community, I had the opportunity to sit down with the Oregon Tech Works Association this week just to learn a little bit more about their organization and what they do. And really, their biggest benefit right now is for small businesses that are either focused on technology or that utilize technology. Oregon TechWorks is really there to help them with their back office infrastructure. So things like HR, IT, they're talking about adding things like marketing to their offering, but really get you the discounts that you need as a small business to get that infrastructure in place, but also give you the guidance you need to be effective with that infrastructure. Not only that, they also partner with Radius, which is an early stage startup here in Portland that offers workspace. Oregon Tech Works will do rad work days with Radius where they will invite folks in to share, uh, you know, a really compelling workspace that isn't an office usually is someone's house, but is really kind of a cool space for people to co-work. Keep an eye on Oregon Tech Works. Look out for the next Rad Workday where they collaborate with Radius. And if you are a small business, five people, upwards of 50 people, this is probably their sweet spot. If you're in the need for HR systems, IT, all that kind of thing, I highly suggest you connect with the TechWorks folks and maybe consider becoming a member. I'm sure they would love to help you out. Demolicious happens every month. If you don't know the format, it's a series of founders get up, pitch their company for three minutes. The defending champion always gets to pitch as well. So it's a bunch of, a bunch of people who are looking to take that title away as well as the champion. The crowd votes at the end, once all the dust is settled, 
somebody walks away with the win and when they win they get to add their sticker or what have you to the demolicious championship belt now they used to let people hold the belt but then i think i've talked about it before someone held the belt a little too long and didn't get it to the next person so now the belt kind of kind of stays with demolicious until now i mentioned last week that there were some things that demolicious was working on Turns out Josh Carter, the organizer of Demolicious, has now put together the Champion of Champions competition, which will occur at the end of the year in December. Yes, December comes at the end of the year. I know. I know. Breaking news. So at the Champion of Champions competition, each startup that has won the belt throughout the year will get to compete against the other champions who have won the belt. And I don't know that I've confirmed this. So keep it quiet for now. But I believe whoever wins the Champion of Champions competition actually gets to take the belt. Might even get to keep it forever. I don't know. I'm just saying it might happen. So if you're a champion, if you've won Demolicious in the past, please keep practicing that pitch because you're going to have some stiff competition come December. And if you're curious about who has the best three-minute pitch in the tech startup community in Portland, then you're just going to have to show up to the Mission Theater in December and see who walks away with the Champion of Champions win. I'll look forward to seeing you there. I've already RSVP'd and plan to attend. If you'd like to RSVP, I think there's room for 400 people. You can always go to the Meetup page. I'll link it up down below so that you can grab a seat and watch the champion of champions competition that's it for this week i hope you're doing well it's going to be a warm one this weekend so try and stay cool but also maybe try and get some time outside away from this the computer or the phone or the youtube wherever you're watching this uh or if you're listening to it i hope you're walking outside while you're listening to this podcast if you are gold star for you i appreciate you getting outside all right hang in there Hope you're holding up. And until we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work. Want to be even more informed about what's going on in the Portland startup community? I've got more of that information for you right here.